Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Maria Sirwa, and I'm here to talk to you today just briefly about courage. Courage is one of the highest virtues of humanity. It represents us at our best, and it is absolutely necessary on the journey back into love again, because to be journeying toward love means that we've probably had experiences in the past that had brought us love and love fell apart, or we we were betrayed or things just didn't go very well or very smoothly. And so we need to cultivate that which is strong within us in order to move forward again. Now, one of the beautiful things that we know about courage is that it is supported by four qualities or character strengths within us that can be enhanced or cultivated at higher levels to help prepare us for the journey. The first quality I'd like to mention is bravery, and bravery represents doing difficult things even in the presence of obstacles. And one of the techniques that we can do to enhance our bravery is actually invite ourselves to be 3% more brave in any one day. 3% more brave in asking for what we want, in saying difficult things, or 3% physical bravery, doing something we've not done before, for example, or stretching ourselves. And then noticing and reflecting on how we have been brave at the end of the day. We learn courage. This is Mary Daly. We learn courage by couraging. Then we develop the muscle of courage and we develop the capacity for bravery by enacting brave acts. So we want to start small in order to build success so that when we make the decision that it's time for us to start dating again or time to maybe call that person back who we had a date with a few months ago and we haven't, you know, we can't get out of our mind, that we are ready. We are ready. We have a sense of ourselves as someone who has built the um, scaffolding for bravery within ourselves. The second quality that enhances courage is integrity. And integrity means being in alignment with our deeper values. And one of the recommendations I'd like to make is to literally sit down and while you're making your list of the kinds of qualities you'd like in another person, make the list of the values you would like to see in that other person and the values that are dear to you. And then that's sort of step one. And then step two is notice when you're on a date or having a conversation, even if it's an email conversation, notice if those values are present. So in other words, start bringing that lens of values to your conversations. It will help you sort of separate pretty quickly those you want to invest time and energy in and those you do not. Being in alignment with our values makes us brave being clear about our values helps us discern who to spend time with and who not to, and also gives us that sense, this investment in values, that sense of being in our skin with a little bit more dignity, a little bit more positive self-regard, if you will. The third characteristic that we want to strengthen in our quest for greater courage has to do with perseverance. Lord knows the dating game is not a quick game. It can take quite a bit of time and we need to persevere. We need to have that capacity to sort of run the marathon, if you will. Now, it isn't a marathon for everybody, but for some of us it is. And so for those of us on the long journey or longer journey than we would wish, persevering is important. Perseverance is built by setting small goals, achieving those goals and moving forward. So maybe it's I'll email back to people today. I'll open up next week. My goal is to open up uh, a new dating app and, and apply. Maybe the third week, my, my next persevering goal is to have a few conversations with um, people I've met before but don't really know well, just to sort of expand my repertoire. You know, so to set small goals, accomplish them, note that we've accomplishment, accomplished them, and keep persevering forward. Just as marathons are run sort of mile by mile by mile, this journey is enacted goal by goal by goal. Now, a caveat, we want to set goals that are meaningful to us, that are interesting, that are fascinating or curious, or that are absolutely life-giving. So don't set a goal to fill out 30 dating applications if that feels, if that, that goal would make you nauseous. 
fill, you know, set a goal, like maybe filling out one that will make you feel brave and forward moving and doesn't make you sort of, doesn't throw you off your game. I hope that makes sense. And the fourth quality is enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is passion, it's zest, it's bringing your whole heart to the conversation. Those of us who are deep in our sense of what we're passionate about, we have more courage, we are braver, and we're more likely to persevere over the long haul. So to bring your passions into the conversation, in other words, to be a little less shy about naming what you love in the world, what excites you, what you're fascinated by. I love poetry. I put that on on all my dating apps. I love dancing. I love music. I um, I love collecting sea glass. Like just, you know, 3% more honesty, that's integrity with where we are sort of wholehearted in our lives, gives us a greater chance of not only meeting people who are in alignment with us, but gives us more importantly that chance of feeling alive even if the date isn't going very well. Like, I actually am showing up for my life here. That's the feeling that we want. So these four qualities, bravery, integrity, perseverance, and um, enthusiasm, sorry, are the ones that we want to cultivate in order to bring courage in the presence of our anxiety and our worry and our vulnerability in the dating realm. I so hope this was helpful for you. And thank you for spending the time to be in conversation with me and with Iris and her summit about this. Take care.